Hey boaters, it's Jim from Marine Marine. I'm here with Matt Kazakis, our applications engineer for digital switching. So in our last video, we looked at how to actually insert the physical SIM cards into the YachtSense Link router. Um, I guess there's just a little bit of configuration to do in the settings to make those work and bring them to life. Correct. Can you tell us how to do that, Matt? Yeah, so uh, we have a YachtSense Link right here. We've already inserted the card. Um, the first thing you wanna do is reboot. So whether you power off, via you know, your circuit, or you can do that actually from the MFD. We're gonna show you how to get into those settings. So in the top right hand corner, you're gonna see a little picture of the AtSense link. Oh yeah, I see the rectangle with the little antennas on it. So I'll tap that. Yep, and then select the AtSense link. It'll bring us right to the configuration page. And you'll see the status page right here where we have our mobile network. Um, I talked about resetting it. In the advanced settings, there's a uh, restore, reset, you can go in there if you want and reset the router, that would be a way to do it. We've already done that, we're good here. So what we want to do is enable this card, so we're going to go to basic settings. All right. And then mobile data and SIM management. And then from here, you have to enable the mobile data and data roaming if you do want to use data roaming. Okay, yeah, that's an important option because there might be places where you definitely don't want to use data roaming unless uh, you're prepared to pay for it. And if you have a mobile plan that has limitations, you can also set um, you know, data limits from here. There's more options within this page. Um, for now, it, uh, you're gonna save those settings and you'll see a little change save. If you go back to the status page, you'll actually see the mobile network is obtaining IP address. So now you basically oh, yeah, wait right to see until you obtain a P address, you'll see it make a connection and then you'll be connected to your service provider. That's pretty cool. Now I know you can put two SIM cards in here. Is it a little bit different setup with two SIM cards versus one? Yeah, so within the mobile data and SIM management, you'll have some additional options and at the top. So it's a conditional based. So you'll actually select um, how you want those conditions to play. You have one active SIM card in the AtSense link, so only one active at a time. But if you uh, don't have service, for example, if you were in Florida and you went over to the Bahamas sure. and they have a different carrier over there, you wouldn't have any service. So if you had that condition to switch over, um, it would then switch to the other active card. Okay, yeah, so it makes it very easy to have coverage no matter where you go. Yeah, it's just a couple of check, check boxes you have. Once you have the two cards, they'll they'll show up in the configuration page in your settings. Overall, it's pretty easy to get to because you can get it right out of the corner of your home screen there and uh, yeah. in and turn them on and turn them off as needed. So YachtSense Link is a pretty flexible product, gives you great connectivity on the go. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about YachtSense Link, head on over to raymarine.com. We have all the details on it there. Or talk to your local Raymarine dealer. They'd be happy to get your boat set up with this amazing connectivity technology. Uh, thank you for watching our series on YachtSense Link. And until our next video, we'll see you later. Thanks.